Ghouls! Ghouls! Little green ghouls, buddy! Goblins! Grandmas! Well, especially horrifying, but you know what's scarier than any of those things? Capitalism! Ah, purchases and money usage, no! Okay, so here's the idea. That was at my local mall, which is horrifying enough with the social anxiety we all have, but my eyes fell into something. The Halloween display. I'll be honest, most of the things there are so ugly, and I mean, like, come on, what even is this spider? That's not how that works. But I decided it'd be fun to make some Pokemon forms based off some of the various bits and bobs I found around the mall. Funny enough, many of these turned out to be Halloween-based toys for pets. Oops. But hey, this first one was the inspiration for this whole video, and I think you'll understand why. Look at this, and tell me it doesn't spark a Pokemon in your mind already. No? Just me then? Well, if you did think Appleton, you'd be correct. I mean, a little dino thing that's an apple pie and an entire line that lives in an apple? I thought it was very Appleton coded. I mean, I thought maybe making it a spooky apple pie, but... Instead, decided a sort of weird new Evo that combines a couple of different Apple and Evos together. We go Jacqueline here, the classic staple of Halloween, with an Appleton-esque sort of mon taking up the main space here. But I love the idea of it holding up his little pumpkin body up as it runs along. Uh, maybe waddles, he don't look too fast. I opted to bring in a bit of Hydrapple here and have it that the pumpkin body's eyes have actual Hydrapple-like eyes to them. I thought it'd be fun that maybe three Hydrapple-like heads come out of the eyes and mouth for attack. Kind of like that one scene in Beetlejuice, but with snakes instead of... God, what are they? Grubs? Eels? No matter, this would be a much cuter version of that. That wouldn't make you wretch when you see it. I ended up giving it little leaf eyes at the top instead of Appleton's cute droopy eyes. So meet the newest Evo for some kind of hallowed Applin. Pumpletum. Heh, <laughs> Pumpletum. Pumpletum, Pumpletum, it rolls off the Pumpletum. Pumpletum, the pumpkin Pokemon, a grass and dragon type. Applin evolves into Pumpletum when the Gordy Gourd item is used on it. Pumpletum have various Pokemon living inside its hollow body, acting a bit like a shell. When angered, its eyes light up, attempting to shock predators into running away. Pumpletum lives for Halloween and can be found safely among the jack o -lanterns. Pumpletum have the abilities Gluttony and Flame Body. Next, let's do this thing. I like this goofy bat thing, and while it's not super Halloween-y, I think I just really want to do this silly little bat Pokemon. And one of my favorites in that of Noibat and Noivern. This could have easily been a toy paradox, but came out sort of like this wild convergent Pokemon. And while things like Swoobat and the like work better being more shapely Pokemon, I want my spherical Noibat, dang it. The idea here would be a kind of Noibat built to be able to take a hit. And when it does, that's when the destructive sound waves come out, instead of being able to do it itself. So the trainer could just walk around holding this Noibat and squeeze it to unleash forceful shockwave squeak. Yeah, that sounds safe for children. I did have to take some liberties from the toy itself here, but Try to keep the eyes and whatnot in the same place, so it makes this kind of weird, more cartoonish looking Noibat. Oh, I should mention it's also called Toybat, so it's officially a convergent at this point. I thought it'd be cute for it to have those sort of bolt-like sound shapes make up a tail in it, and it's Evo. Toybat, the squeak Pokemon of flying type. A curious Pokemon that bears a resemblance to Noibat. It has a squishy body that unleashes squeaks from its mouth and ears when struck. These squeaks can range from small to glass shattering. Some manufacturers have made toys resembling this Pokemon, leading Stoutland to sometimes grab Toybat out of the air. Toybat has a new ability called Squeaky Body, where physical attacks cause this Pokemon to retaliate with a normal type sound based attack. The stronger the attack from the enemy, the more powerful the squeak is. I kind of love how this one turned out. Despite it being a brown squeaky toy still, it has almost some kind of crane game or UFO look about it. Probably due to its new sound hole. That's what I normally call my butt. 
and the free tails that look like sound effects coming out too. Looks like it'd fly around by like spinning like a top. Kind of endearing in a way. And also just thanks to Neuvern's looks it comes off a bit more menacing and scarier, which is nice. Typing for these two were difficult because these things are kind of like rubber stuff and Deaths isn't Halloween enough for ghost type. So I thought flying and then flying normal works well and goes well with getting stabbed for all the sound based attack. So funny if this was a competitively viable Pokemon just being this tiny squeaky toy Noivern going up against stuff like Landorus and Incineroar. I think this also kind of gives the kind of Super Mario enemy as well. But yeah, not the most spooky Halloween, but I think it's fun and cute. And more my speed for Halloween, because I'm a baby and I hate scary things. <laughs> Toyvern, the squeak Pokemon of flying in normal type. A curious Pokemon that bears a resemblance to Noivern. It is more aggressive than its pre-evolution, and opts to attack first by squeezing its own body to launch sound waves from the organ on its underside. Its small size has led to many children using it to play cat resulting in quite a few cases of damaged ears and broken glass. Toyvern has the ability Squeaky Body. Another dog toy this time, I think. I mean, it's got a dog's paw on it, but it's like some kind of neon bright chainsaw, giving me Pochita vibes here. But it went in a completely different direction. I thought straight away of Sawfish, you know, the big nosed lads that Mega Sharpedo were based off of. Yeah, those ones. I decided to mix a chainsaw, them, and Mantine together. Why Mantine, you ask? Well, through my research, I found out that sawfish are a type of ray, and that sawfish are also called carpenter sharks, which doesn't make sense. Absolutely wild, and nature horrifies me every day. That's right, Halloween nature, ooh, also was scary. This one was difficult to do, and literally the only reason for this was because of that damn saw nose. I go through a few iterations, but decided on making the saw nose a sort of solid clump instead of having individual white teeth make it look a little more organic. But how does the chainsaw, you ask? Well, I guess it vibrates really fast and just saws through things. I like the bright, gaudy colors of the toy here. It gives me like child-friendly Halloween or those old League of Legends zombie slayer skin colors. In the end, I added in the bright glowy parts like the tail and the eyes, which looked really cool, but also made the eyes look a bit off. So I added some pupils in and even gave it some smoke that helped give it a bit of a silhouette closer to that of original Mantine. I wanted to add Remorate here, but I just didn't have a good idea to fit it in. Maybe like a battery or like a handle that attaches to it? I don't know. Mantine Hallowed Form, the Sawfish Pokemon, a Steel and Ghost type. A strange form of Mantine, it has a unique appearance and a dangerous nature. Its saw blade head can vibrate rapidly, allowing it to cleave almost anything in two, accompanied by a grinding sound emanating from it. The stress this places on Mantine's body heats it up, causing it to vent superheated steam until it cools down once again. Mantine has the ability Strong Jaw and Tough Claws. I don't quite know what this is. Some kind of dog dragon devil thing? Is it a kid's toy? A dog's toy? The horror of the unknown, I got you again. Ooh, I bet you are feeling real scared now. The idea I had was some kind of dragon hound hour at first, but... Making this scary, naughty dog more scary, naughty was kind of boring. So I thought, what if I made some goofy new Evo for Snubble? Yeah, the most out there dog. But it's also one of those Pokemon that get pampered a lot. So I thought, what if this Evo played off that kind of Halloween trend of people dressing up their dogs for it? Or really any time after Halloween and before, really. I always see Halloween themed dog costumes, but this one, the costume fused to the moo. All right, I'll stop now. This is a quadrupedal evo for Snubble that gets a few cues from Granbull, especially the jowly underbite here, but now it has a patterning as well as horns and useless little wings, making it look like it's dressed up. 
gives me beware vibes a bit, which is very fitting. You can just tell that this Pokemon would have that sort of same energy as a little dog, thinking it's much bigger and scarier than what it is. But I guess it's still rather tall, so it gets a pass for now. <coughs> Gruff's Doom, the dress-up Pokemon, a fairy and dark type. Snubble evolves into Gruff's Doom at level 23 while holding the little devil outfit. Gruff's Doom always acts like it is a bigger Pokemon than it actually is, and will regularly try to fight larger opponents, much to its dismay when it loses. Trainers hold competitions to see whose Gruff's Doom is better groomed and trained. Gruff's Doom have the abilities Intimidate and Cute Charm. The final one of the video is just this stupid looking bone bear. Honestly, Kmart is always making these skeletal animals that never actually follow any structure. And I know they do it because people put it on the internet and do the exact same thing I'm doing now, giving them advertisements. Ugh, oh, and this is why capitalism is scary, people. But like Rumpelstiltskin, I'm going to weave this straw into gold by making an Evo for a bear Pokemon. Not beware this time, that was last year's Pokemon. This year I'm going to do Cub Chew. My idea here was that Cub Chew sort of cold got the better of them and they passed away. The Vol and did a sort of Chen Pao thing, becoming ice and snow and bodying around a bear-like skull. Although I'm still tossing up whether it's just a skull or the head that looks like a skull, but oh well, it's just supposed to be spooky. I thought it'd be fun if it's sort of a special attacker to bear Tick's physical attacker, so it loses much of the claws and front jagged edges. Having the ice jut out from the back as if it kind of froze while standing in some kind of icy blast. This new evolution wouldn't have a bottom jaw to even further separate it from Bear Tick's sneeze the ice jaw. For some reason this makes me think of that whole eating polar bear liver thing, which can cause you to have like major issues even leading to passing away. That's some hardcore meal right there. Ooh, the fear of nutrition! Okay, sorry, I'm done, I'm done this time. Virusine, the frost body Pokemon, an ice and ghost type. Cubchu evolves into Virusine at level 36 if fainted from poison. The body of Virusine is made entirely of snow and ice, with the only part that is still a Pokemon being its head, which is made of a hard keratin resembling a skull. Its body exudes a biting cold that can cause quick illnesses to those around it, making it an ill omen to all. Virusine have the abilities Ice Body and Regenerator. I know this isn't the most Halloween video I could have done, but I like Pumpletum enough that I needed to do this. So what did you think? Comment your thoughts down below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video around, it helps me a lot. And of course, Happy Halloween. May you not be feared by capitalism and every other stupid thing I tried to instill fear in you with this video. See you next time.